Okay, this is my campsite. It's uphill to the car. The car isn't actually that far away, but it looks kind of far. Little stairs that have been repaired since the last time I was here. A really large fire pit, which isn't very useful for sitting next to unless you're in an elevated chair, which is that red thing right there. The contents of my car exploded on the picnic table. And right next to the lake. The lake's a lot higher than when I was here last time. They've been replacing these food lockers. This right here is where I'm going to hang my hammock between those two trees. It's where I hang before. There's a little fenced off area so people can walk down to the lake without tromping through people's campsites. And then we are back to the car. Ta da! Alright. As you can see, I have the pullouts installed, although they're not very useful in this configuration. If my tarp were lower, it'd be pretty nice, but not necessary. Someone, somewhere, on hammock forums, talked about making a triangle like this with the tarp suspension so that the hammock suspension can sort of go between it. And actually that seems to be working really well, so kudos to whoever did that. I actually finally got around to using the figure nines. So it took me about nine times haha -ha, as long to set these up since I'd never used them before as it did to tie my usual messy knot. But it looks so much neater and it's easier to do this triangle thing. So I think I'm sold. Um, I decided my hammock was too close to the ground, so I moved my Marlin Spike hitch back a little bit. I'm just using a tent stake because I have it with me. And uh, the whoopee sling thing is working really well. This is one I made. It goes all the way down there to the other end. I took this uh, pole down so I could talk to you guys. I haven't put it back up yet. So I decided it's wiser to have my tent pole, excuse me, my trekking pole substituting as a tent pole farther away from the tarp. So in case it bounces up and down, it does not puncture my tarp, which would be sad. I have really long lines on this, but the ground slopes down here. So it's probably a good thing. These are my Gossamer Gear Light Trek four poles with the strap that you can see there on the ground. They're extended all the way. They're just about as short as I would like them to be, so I'm glad I didn't get the compact poles. Well, this is my hammock form flag. It's a little wrinkly from being folded up, but flying it anyway. So these are the little reefing points. Not really reefing, tie-up points that I use to bundle my tarp so it's tied to the ridge line, which I find extremely convenient. Um, and as a matter of fact, tonight, I think, I'm going to sleep without a tarp because it's supposed to be a really beautiful day, about 50 degrees tonight. The dew point is lower than that, so hopefully it won't get all wet on me, but if it does, I'm going home tomorrow anyway, so who cares? You can see my, what do you call those? Self-tensioning things. This is the clove hitch shock cord variety. Um, has tightened up all the way. They were actually loose, like, well, I can't do it, but they were kind of loose. These were droopy, trust me, before, and now they're pretty tight. I could shoot things. Woo! Where's a rock when I need one? Okay. Shades of my misspent youth. Okay, well, I'll try to keep my dirty, hairy legs out of this, but this is the inside of my hammock. The lounging hammock. It's a big red and blue Eno kind of double thing. It's not an Eno, it's a hammock. -a. There you go. Because I didn't put a gear hammock on this ridge line. Because I was thinking of lounging, not camping in it. So I was forced to turn my hat into a gear hammock to hold my knitting. It's really pretty here. I'm under my Mac Cat Deluxe Tarp. There is the view. Just beautiful. All kinds of people out playing on the water today. Jet skis. I haven't seen any water skiers. Campground is going to be pretty full this weekend, but it's not full yet. Brought way too much firewood. I think I'll leave it for the next people. 
Got my fire laid and ready to go. I uh, think I'll heat up some mulled wine, put the grate on later on. A little campfire. Yeah, I'm cheating. Strike a fire. Wow. Cool stuff. This look is because of the mosquitoes. They are driving me up a tree. The camera's going up a tree. Well, anyway. Well, I haven't gotten up and done my thing and come back in, but it's really nice this morning. There's lots of bird sound, including one powerboat. What he's doing out so early, I have no idea. Um, my neighbors that arrived late last night had a good old time with Smirnoff and Bud Light, and there were some consequences this morning that I could hear. Ugh. Anyway. <sighs> so I slept pretty well. I uh, used my crow's nest under quilt, which is probably too warm, but, you know, and my jacks were better set into a top quilt. Um, Quite comfy and a gossamer gear thin light under my feet in between the layers this time. We're looking through the mosquito netting actually. So let me see if I can do this. So those are my feet. The blue thing down there is the shirt I was wearing yesterday. The mosquito netting is deployed. So on the left hand of the screen, there's uh, half of my tarp. I just flipped the other half over. I got to see some stars last night. I put my glasses on to do it because I'm blind as a bat. There you go. This is the zipper side you're seeing here. Right there. It's a zipper. Very well done. No, The tabs are no bigger than they need to be. You can see I've pulled out the tarp using that pull out. There. Anyway, let's continue. when I should not be let out with a camera.